हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑन काउंटिंग इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम रूल एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम रूल फॉर टू टास्क टी वन एंड टी टू एंड वी नो दैट इफ टास्क टी वन कैन बी डन इन एन वन वेज टास्क टी टू कैन बी डन इन एन टू वेज देन द नंबर ऑफ वेज ऑफ डूइंग टास्क टी वन और टास्क टी टू is sum of n1 and n2 so this n1 plus n2 is the number of ways of doing at least one of these two task and here we assume that t1 and t2 cannot be done at the same time or we cannot perform t1 and t2 simultaneously so under that assumption the number of ways of doing at least one of these two is n1 plus n2 so this we can generalize for uh, more than two tasks also suppose task t1 can be done in n1 ways task t2 can be done in n2 ways task t3 can be done in n3 ways and suppose task tm can be done in nm ways and we can perform exactly one task at the same time or no two task can be done at the same time so under that assumption the number of ways of doing at least one of these task is given by sum of n1 n2 n3 and so on up to nm so this is the extended version of sum rule and it is very easy to understand so here we have written extended version of the sum rule suppose that the task t1 t2 tm can be done in n1 n2 and so on nm ways respectively and no two of these tasks can be done at the same time then the number of ways to do one of these tasks is n1 plus n2 and so on plus nm so we consider one example related to this extended version uh, we are given that a student can choose a computer project from one of three lists the three lists contain 23 15 and 19 possible projects respectively how many pros possible projects are there to choose from so here uh, we are given three lists of project list 1 list 2 and list 3 first list contain 23 projects second list contains 15 projects and third list contains 19 projects student have to select one computer project from one of these three list so there are uh, three possibilities student can select the project from first list that we can uh, understand that that can be done in 23 ways or student can select project from second list and there are 15 projects in the second list so there are 15 possibilities for selecting project from second list and similarly third list contains 19 projects so student can choose any of these 19 projects from the third list and student can choose a project either from list 1 or list 2 or list 3 student cannot select the project from list 1 as well as list 2 similarly student cannot select the project from list 1 and 3 at the same time and same thing from from list 2 and 3 so in short student can select a project from exactly one list at the same time he or she cannot select the project from two of these three list at the same time so this uh, satisfies the requirement of applying sum rule there are three task task 1 can be done in 23 ways 
task 2 can be done in 15 ways and task 3 can be done in 19 ways and no two of these tasks can be done at the same time. So the number of ways that a student can choose the project is addition of these three 23, 15 and 19 by some rule. So that we have written here the student can choose a project from the first list in 23 ways from the second list in 15 ways and from the third list in 19 ways and uh, we know that a student can select a project from only one list at the same time he or she cannot select the project from two lists at the same time that means uh, no two tasks can be done at the same time so therefore by the sum rule there are 23 plus 15 plus 19 equal to 57 projects to choose from and uh, this is by sum rule we should mention that hence by sum rule there are 57 projects a student can choose from these three lists so this is simple application of sum rule so we should remember that we can apply sum rule if we have task t1 t2 up to say tm finite number of tasks and no two tasks can be done at the same time then the number of ways of doing at least one of these tasks is addition of n1 n2 and so on nm so this is some rule for counting so so far we have discussed two counting principles one was product rule and another is sum rule and we have discussed enough number of problems related to this product and sum rule in upcoming lectures we will discuss some another counting techniques so this is all about this session i hope you like it